So today is Monday, October 23rd, right? Uh, maybe three years ago, three years ago, maybe more, I claimed my Toronto body and uh, I uh, didn't have a scan tool and I used my jumper cable to reset my ECU. Since that last video, my Honda is running great, okay? Okay, now, so this is what we have after I done cleaning the Toronto body. Once you disconnect the, you know, all those hoses and stuff like that, and you try cleaning the Toronto body, you're gonna have all these lights popping on the screen, and if you don't have a uh, scanning tool to kind of like reset it now at some point your car won't even drive like your steering wheel like you know you gotta see the steering wheel won't even turn even though the car is on so it just kind of like messed up everything so you have to do that reset all right and after that you'll be fine yeah, you can put on glove if you want, but just a battery is not gonna do you anything. So we're gonna disconnect that, set it to the side, right? And then repeat the same thing with the positive cable right there. Set that to the side, and then we're gonna grab the the wire because I cannot find my jumper cable, so I'm gonna use a. Uh, wire attached to the positive and the negative just one wire a strip left and right so what i'm going to do i will connect the other end to to my positive cable right so i attach this to the positive cable and i will run the other end make sure i don't touch the battery to the negative one so to be on the same side I'm gonna put my glove on top of the on top of the battery here so that I don't have any you know connection with the battery why we have the cable connecting to the positive side. So I kind of strip my wire and make it really long, right? So what I'm gonna do is uh, just kind of try to tangle that together a little bit like this. There we go. And then grab it, attach that to my negative terminal, battery terminal right there, right? You guys can see this, right? And so what we're doing here is that uh, we are trying to force the vehicle to quickly run out of power, right? Some people might say just turn on the initial, turn on the headlights and whatever, whatever. Yeah, because if we did not drain all the power from the vehicle and we go ahead and reconnect that, the little amount of power that left in it, it will save the code. All right, it will save the code because the code can be saved if there's a power stay running through the vehicle all right so if everything is completely drained out the core is not going to have any more energy to to you know stay in the system right so then when you reconnect your battery everything will go back to normal so we're going to leave it here if you're not in a hurry i would say just 45 minutes to an hour just leave it there and then when you come back as you guys see my battery's cable is pretty dirty you know, I'm going to clean it or maybe try to replace those cables or something. But yeah, for the fact that I'm not driving this car, uh, I don't really have time to do a lot of maintenance on it. So yeah, that's what we got, guys. So you guys see here, it's connecting to the positive side and to the negative side. You take a look at it, you will see positive and negative, but just one, one cable though one little wire it will be so easy to do with a jumper cable you just clap clap 
and that's one of the reasons I used the jumper cable in my previous video. So this is my technique of resetting my ECU. All right, like I said, uh, you guys see, as we speak, it's 7.45, October 23rd. All right, uh, I'm gonna leave it here and go do what I gotta do. And when I come back, I'm gonna clean the cable pretty good and then reconnect it. And some of the questions that I had in my previous video is that some people ask me if you don't fix the problem and then you erase the code, would the code come back? Yes, all right? Let's say you have an engine light that, you know, telling you something wrong, with maybe like a alternator or whatever, something wrong, and you need to replace that. If you do not replace the alternator and you do this, the engine light will disappear, right? But later on, it will come back. The reason to that is that you did not replace whatever you were supposed to replace. So make sure you replace what the vehicle is asking you to replace before you do this, okay? Because I don't want you to say, oh, it doesn't work. It's not a permanent delete. It will delete once the problem is already taken care of. And then when you start the vehicle and the computer realizes that the problem is no longer in the system, there's no need of the code coming back on the screen. So this should be your last, last thing to do. Make sure you fix the problem before you come out here and do this. Something is up with this AutoZone battery, man. Like, always. All right, let's go ahead and remove the rest of the cable and connect the battery now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the battery. Mm -hmm. Put the positive one and then put the negative one last. I have it secure. Now, let's go ahead and check the vehicle and see if we still have this code. All right, what time is it? The same, about the same date, Monday, October 23rd. So let's go ahead and fire up the car after we done plug in the battery and see what we have, guys. All ready? Remember, we had a bunch of codes earlier. As we speak, the hood is still open, right? So what we have here, guys, this is my hand, my parking brake. You guys see that, by the way, I'm dropping it. Earlier, it was giving me low, low, uh, low gas, all the codes you ever think about, right? What we have here, guys, as you guys see, after I disconnect the battery, my CD came off and all of that. Hmm? So I don't put false information on my channel. Since I bought this vehicle, 2017, I've been doing my service myself. And I also speak, I got 154,000 miles, if you guys can see there. 154,000 miles. You know, I did a couple of Uber with this vehicle. Look, ECU got clear out, completed. Like I said, it's pretty easy if you have one jumper cable, like you, you know, just use one positive, you know, the left side of the positive and the right side of the positive. That's it. You know, I'm using two cables, just one cable, connect positive and negative together, disconnect them from the battery like we did. Let them sit there for a little bit. It will drain power completely. Right now, this vehicle has zero code, you know? If you go to dealership with a situation like that, you guys know how much they're gonna charge you, right? Same deal, in the same white shirt, you know, same location, you know, about the same time. Hmm? It's not even eight o'clock yet. 7.59, guys, all right? So, that's that's me. I tried to share my uh, DIY with you guys. So, uh, like I said, my other ECU video, a lot of you guys uh, asked me why I didn't show you guys the, the screen before well now you see for yourself everything is great man uh but yeah that's your boy from africa like and subscribe to support the channel i'm in the trucking business but every time that i have to do vehicle maintenance and other different product review i will definitely do them and drop it on this channel to save you guys some money 
for now guys i will see you guys in the next video so let's kind of ram this bad boy all over and see all right watch that yes sir peace and love man